Okay, my very first Colonel Littleton review, I did it on the side of a decommissioned train. What are the odds that I'm finding a second decommissioned train to do another Colonel Littleton review? I am at Colonel Littleton headquarters. I just picked out the three most amazing bags that I could find from his store, and I am demoing them for you today. I am beyond excited. The store is amazing. And let me show you my favorite bags. The only problem is I don't know which one I want. So check this out. This is the number five dispatch bag. I like this bag because it's floppy, so it's got a nice softness to it, but it's also got just enough structure that it can stand and it's not gonna collapse on itself. Let me turn it around for you here. It's got the smooth back, no pockets in the back. Let's flip it around. Oh, before I get to the front, I wanna show you something that I love about his bags. One of the things that bothers me with shoulder straps is when you adjust the strap and then you have sort of this tail dangling and it takes a bag that looks really clean and sophisticated and makes it look a little clumsy. Not with Colonel Littleton. So check it out. Let me bring it in close. So what he has that's unique that I've not seen anyone else do is a two-prong adjustable strap, right? So you could set it. Look how many settings he's got on there. I have it set to one of the relatively short settings. Really easy. You just push the straps out, set it wherever you want, and then readjust it. And I like it because not only does it look clean, but it's very secure and there's no dangling flap. Bear with me here. It is humid with a side of humid out here. So I am a little hot to say the least. So in the front, what we have is we have two very clean buckles. They actually are buckles, not just for decoration. And that's how you close the bag. This dangles down. So the way that he's done it is, it, my point in mentioning that is because he's got this separate um, how should I describe it? The separate panel of leather here. The bag's not going to open. You can hold it like this, cross body, and you don't need to do the buckles if you don't want to, and the bag doesn't flap open because he smartly affixed the straps to this top panel instead of affixing them to the front open flap. So, and then he's got his signature gold plating here. Let's go in the bag. Here, let me take it off. It'll be easier for me to demo. Here's where the bag goes from smart to brilliant. So let's go inside. He's got it unlined, the suede here. He's got a heavy duty canvas pocket organizer tucked there against the back. You might notice here, it's not sewn down. It's only sewn down on the edges. So that creates additional, you can probably hear my four year old and there's a lot of bugs and she goes, shoop, shoop. So you might be hearing that occasionally. Anyway, so if you could stick something down in here in between the liner and the actual bag, the liner itself has a lot, a lot of pockets. Let me try to describe for you. There's a big pocket where I could put, I smartened up this time for my last video and I got a spare phone. I can easily put my phone in there. I've got two pen size pockets and then another phone size pocket. The first one is bigger, so that's for people that have that really sort of like notepad size phone. The second one is exactly the width of this, which is a Samsung Galaxy S7. That's my co-host, my four-year-old. Um, and then the front is just a very generous, let me flip it around, it's just a very generous open pocket. So keys, wallet, etc., that you just want to keep separate from the rest of your bag. And then you've still got the whole rest of that interior to work with. So this one is definitely in the running as one of the bags that I might get today. And how cute is this? A little key fob so you can keep your keys there. It's got the gold plating again. This one's almost got an antique look to it. Um, I love the buckles. I love that they turn so if you choose not to use them. And I like that he did not affix the straps to this opening. So I have my choice of open or closed. Let's move on. Oh. And just to refresh, this is the number five dispatch bag. So, too bad I didn't set up live video because then you could tell me which bag I should be buying. Here is the other one that I walked in the store and it just it just really caught my eye. This is the number 36 Trekker. Check out that detail on the front. Gorgeous. What really makes this bag sing and what I loved about it, look at the back. So it's got this gorgeous, antiqued, I don't know if antiqued or patina is the right word, this metal rod running end to end of the bag. It does a whole lot more than just add style points. If you overstuff this bag, this keeps the bag from sagging. It's not going to get that telltale sag here. It's not going to close in on itself. It's going to stand upright because of it. 
while I'm back here, let me show you. So you might notice this, we're gonna see it again when I open the interior of the bag, this metal loop. It serves another purpose besides, besides style. You've got here, so you can move this from place to place, or you can use it as the main carry. Let me step back. If you wanted to just use that as a main carry, how cute would that be? And then of course you have this. And let me show you the, this is nipple rivet, but he's got it on the endless loop. Again, very smart, no dangling strap. It can hang over the shoulder. It can hang crossbody. And then you've got, again, this option. What else really works about this, because he did it on a metal rod, this can come off completely and this can come off completely. So if you wanted this for organization within a larger overnight or duffel bag, you could take all the straps off for carry, store them inside, and then put the bag in your duffel. But anyways, I think this makes a really nice work weekend type bag. I like the medium size to it. Let me tuck that back in here. So just to refresh, this little strap that we didn't know what it did, now that I open up, you can see what it does, and it forms the closure for this bag. It comes through from the back. I've got a nipple rivet closure, depending on how much I stuff the bag. And again, because he's designed the handle in such a way that I don't need to close it. Even if I don't close it, the strap isn't yanking that top open. Very smart closure. So if I choose not to, you can of course just tuck this in here and it'll be out of the way. But let's go in. Very simple, unlined, the suede side of the leather. And in the back, let me pull the strap out. He's got a lot of organization back here. So he's got, let me tell you the pockets he's got going on. He's got a single giant flap of leather here that runs almost edge to edge, uninterrupted. That's okay, it's my four-year-old's musical, my, her ode to Colonel Littleton. Um, so you can easily, and let me just show you. It's a deep, wide pocket. I could put this phone in there, plenty, plenty of room. I actually think that back pocket is more of a tablet size, small tablet. And then in front of that, he's got a second piece of leather let me try to have you see that. Are you getting that at all? So, and then in front of that main large pocket, he's got a second piece of leather stitched in front. That one is shorter. And then he's got even in front of there a third tiny pocket that would hold um, a business card or a credit card. Those two front pockets, for reference, we're also battling a wasp here. So um, hopefully you guys are appreciating me in this heat. <laughs> Woo, it's a big wasp and it really likes us. Um, so anyways, one large main front pocket, two medium pockets, and one tiny pocket all along the back. You've got the main reservoir. I think this might be the keeper after demoing this for you. This thing is, you guys, this thing is gorgeous. Here is the last one. I have never done canvas and leather, canvas leather combo bags, but I picked this one up right away and I just said, holy, check out this design. I am loving the black with this. I'm gonna call it almost like a dark tan. Um, it's not quite brown with the gold. This is the GP number one. That stands for, check it out, general purpose number one. This is kind of your catch-all, carry-all bag, male, female. Um, he's got, again, that two-prong closure in the front. Opens up almost lunch bag style. He's got this if you want to close it up. Connects with a D-ring on the interior, dog leash style clasp. The bag opens, it's got a main reservoir, no pockets in the back. In the front, it does have a pocket, a single pocket that runs almost the full length and width of the bag. Um, the woman in the store was saying she can fit her gun right in there, so it's perfect. It's segregated from the rest of the bag. There's no pockets on the sides or on the exterior. But here's something that's smart. Check out how this leather doesn't lay flush. You could easily take this D-ring, slide it up, put a carabiner on there and attach it to another bag or to your pants loop if it wasn't stuffed terribly tight. Um, let me just show you what this looks like on. Because if you're not a canvas and leather person, which I thought I wasn't until I saw this, holy, that is so cute. Um, so I don't know, I just thought this was a fun little bag. Definitely not something that I have, not something that I've really seen, to be honest. I mean, there's a lot of canvas leather, but not with all this great detail. This one has uh, two 
triangles here and then it's affixed by dog leashes so this whole thing could come off if you wanted to and this also could go in another bag he's got the endless loop here again no dangles so as short or as long as you want to make this just for I know I'm tiny but I I know let's see if we could show you it full length and right now the camera guy and the four-year-old are ready to get out of here so I may just stop with this but check out, it gets pretty long, and I've got another couple inches I could have done. But um, it's just a, it's a smart, sharp-looking bag. I think one of my beefs why I haven't done the canvas and the leather is because I think it they don't match. You might have a sophisticated-looking leather with sort of a um, a more casual canvas, and not here. This is the Colonel Littleton General Purpose Number One bag. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna get one of these bags. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. This is me in Linville, Tennessee, home of Colonel Littleton himself. Thanks.